All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about the Zenith Z5P. But first, for some reason, I got a watermelon patch growing right in the middle of our pistol range. I don't know why, but we can't have that. Let's go ahead and deal with this problem, and we'll get back to the review here. I don't know what's in the ground here. Uh, I, I don't, but whatever made those uh, watermelons grow, just not right. Well, I'll tell you what, just the same. Guys, these are an MP5K pistol being imported out of Turkey by MKE. Uh, Zenith Firearms is bringing them in. They're brought in as a pistol that takes standard MP5 magazines. They ship with two. You get a scope mount with them. Guys, these things are pretty dang awesome. Uh, they've been coming in. Every one that we can get our hands on to sell generally disappears in pretty short order. Uh, they're also bringing in a reverse stretch, uh, as well as a couple of different rifles. They're bringing in a 5.56 pistol. So uh, check them out if you're interested in you know, seeing what they're about. Very cool stuff. They are made on HK tooling, so German tooling in Turkey. Pretty good guns here. So uh, they do come with a tri-lug adapter, and they're also threaded half by 28 for most of your you know, standard 9mm cans. We're going to shoot it a little bit more for you here and talk as we go. But uh, we do have a Form 1 uh, out on this particular gun. We're going to be putting a shoulder stock on it, a forward grip. Uh, also, this gun does have some host sear capabilities. So for some of you that are wanting to get them to, you know, maybe run a registered uh, full auto sear in, uh, they do have uh, some capabilities. Push pin trigger pack, which is kind of nice. Uh, it is a shelved lower, so you still have the shelf to contend with, but you do have a push pin trigger pack, so you get the authentic uh, HK appearance. Let's just take out a few uh, targets here. Makes those headshots nice and short and sweet. Let's take out our gopher down there. Gun's really consistent. Let's take out our 75 yard gong down there. All right, all out. We got those sodas hanging back there. They're all lonely. I'm gonna grab some Winchester PDX 124 plus P. We'll slam those sodas a little bit. All right, 144 grain plus P Winchester PDX1, 30 rounds. We got some lonely sodas up there just hanging around. Let's see if we can't take a few out. <laughs> oh man, I got a couple left. Not bad, making short work of pretty much anything I can uh, aim at here. Let's try our 75 yarder again. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, I tell you, it's just so crazy that even without a shoulder stock, you know, as a pistol, even in a pistol configuration, this thing is just running so nice. You know, it, it, the recoil impulse is not bad at all. It's nice and smooth. It's got a good trigger on it. I tell you what, this thing is just a charm to shoot. Very, very comfortable. I think you guys can see that, you know, even without the shoulder stock, the thing is uh, running along just fine. I cannot wait for my Form 1 to come back on this thing. We'll get a nice shoulder stock, uh, forward grip, and we are going to revisit this video at a later date uh, with you know, maybe a sear host, or use it as a sear host, and uh, shoot a little bit full auto with it to show you how nice it runs. Uh, I'm gonna switch places, let Chad have a little fun. Uh, he was shooting this thing pretty dang good earlier, so uh, we're gonna get after that. Okay guys, I can't let Eric have all the fun. 
So I'm gonna run some uh, Hot Shot 115 grain full metal jacket. And I've got a couple other mags in my pocket with some uh, other varieties of ammo we're gonna try out through the gun. But uh, just gonna have a little bit of fun with it, see what we can do. All righty. You know, this is a pistol, but bracing it with the sling on your shoulder makes for very controllable shooting. I mean, you can see, I mean, I popped those shots in about three inches on these gongs here, about seven yards away. I mean, that's just about as good as you need. Uh-oh. That's our first issue out of this guy. Uh-oh. Got a magazine, a Federal Full Metal Jacket. This is 115 grain right here. Pretty much been running everything we can throw at it. We'll take out some sodas. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh man, that one, I just can't quite get him. There we go. <laughs> Always fun shooting sodas. Let's finish this mag out. On a little gopher here. All right. You know, just for fun, I'm gonna take my last magazine here. Got some Agula, 124 grain, full metal jacket. I'm gonna try shooting it from the hip. See if we can hear our gopher right there. All right, let's see. Just a little bit to the left. A little bit to the right. Oh, yeah, right in the head. Ooh, this thing's getting warm. Once you find your point of aim, I mean, I say point of aim, not really aiming the thing, just feel. I mean, nail that little guy, he's about 12 yards away, shooting the Z5P from the hip. That's pretty cool. Well, guys, this video was meant to be just kind of an initial first look of this little pistol here. And uh, like Eric said, these things are immensely popular. Um, there's been several that have been on order at Moss, and they're already pretty much spoken for. So the popularity of this gun pretty much speaks for itself. Um, it is a relatively inexpensive variant. They run about 1800 bucks. Um, some people might think that's a little bit high for a uh, high quality MP5 clone, but it's pretty much right there in the market. And um, you know, off camera, we have tried out a few other brands of Hall Point, some Federal HST. We've tried out some of the Remington Golden Sabres, a few other brands, but you know, the gun will pretty much eat anything you throw in it. And one cool thing about this gun, it is a fluted chamber, but with commercially available ammunition, it's relatively easy on brass. So you're not really gonna get that uh, brass flow into the flutes um, like you would expect. So hand loading spent brass is actually a pretty easy chore just like any other pistol or you know, rifle that you might be running it out of. But uh, stay tuned, once our Form 1 comes back on this gun, we're gonna be slapping a BNT stock on it and uh, probably gonna be suppressing the thing and uh, see if we can borrow a, a sear pack and uh, really get this thing singing see what we can do but anyways guys take care have a good one stay tuned we got a lot more to come <laughs>